The Ottoman army was a cavalry-dependent army. In its early years, the Ottoman army would make heavy use of irregular light infantry during its battles. In this episode, we will discuss just one branch of the Ottoman army's provincial forces, the infantry and auxiliary of the inner provinces. During the classical period, these were known as the Azaps. Initially, foot archers, these bachelors would volunteer to serve as front screening forces for the initial charges and assaults of the enemy. These too were free men, free to leave a battle whenever they chose, since they were not tied to the state like the Sipahi was. Governors were the senior officers of the provincial Azab units, as an example of the Timali Sipahis. Early Middle Eastern military systems organized the Azabs into units, which were nearly in the same organizational structure as later Janissaries. The Azabs had to provide their weapons and equipment similar to other armies, in which they were closely inspected during the recruitment process. They were essentially light infantrymen, and their main weapon was the composite bow. They habitually performed dangerous duties, fought in the front lines, and were tasked to wear down the enemy. For this reason, the rewards were commensurately high as well. In addition to their salary, the Azabs were exempt from taxes during the campaigns. They okay. were awarded a tima, or permanent employment in the army. Most others became guards in duties in frontier castles, even though the Azabs were essentially mercenaries due to the constant campaigns, strong state controls, and lack of independent conditary type captains that acted more like full-time soldiers of the age. An important example of the numbers of Azabs in Ottoman battles can be taken from the Battle of Kosovo Fields. The Azabs did not have unit loyalties like the Janissaries, and their only common bonds were finding a salary job and looting. In any event, however, the process of urban unemployment after demobilization made them the precursors of the real Ottoman mercenary system that was born after the mid-16th century. Interestingly, with the appearance of large numbers of firearm-carrying infantry units during the last quarter of the 16th century, the Azabs disappeared from Ottoman documents, and the Sekbans, Sarikas, Tufengjis, and Levents appeared instead. During this century, the government began granting larger Timar lands to provincial governors in order to finance their personal retinues, which were organized and armed better than most Azabs. Most probably, the Azabs increasingly adopted firearms or enlisted into a governor's personal retinue, and for these reasons were reclassified into new categories and names. The term Levent, or its plural form Levendat, was a generic name of musket-bearing, mostly infantry, but also cavalry mercenary groups of the 16th and 18th centuries. They were also labelled under different names, including Sekban, Sarika, Delhi, Faris, Gunulu, and the like. Originally, Levan was a name given to mercenaries of the Ottoman pirate flotillas during the 15th century. Over time, it became a generic name of all mercenaries, and was most often associated with those recruited as the personal retinue of high provincial officials. Voynuks were the Balkan Christian infantry followers of the Christian Sipahis of Murat I. They were armoured unlike the Yamak or squires and flagstaff units that remained useful into the 17th century, where they were reduced to a largely non-combat pioneer roles. The Voynuk groups were generally organised in southern Serbia, Macedonia or Bulgaria. There were also numbers of them in Bosnia and the Danube Sava region. Even though some Voynuks performed similar tasks as the Martelos, the bulk of them were tasked initially to defend and secure Macedonia and Bulgaria. Later, they acted as auxiliary transport units for the expeditionary armies and provide fresh fodder for royal stables. The best known and most probably the first established Christian military group in the Ottoman service were the Martelos, likely from the Greek Armatelos, because it was the original word used for the Christians in the army. The word Martelos would become a kind of generic term describing all sorts of both Christian military groups and individuals. Additionally, Martelos was a name given for all Christian spies, pathfinders, messengers, Danube boatmen, and forest guards. 
are also Christian renegades. Interestingly, Christian renegades fighting within the Akanjunas were also called Martelos. It was natural then to find more Martelosas in the frontier regions than inland provinces. During the reign of Suleiman I, local Christian constabularies began to be called Martelos as well, especially the ones stationed in regions chronically infested with brigandage like Montenegro and Mora. These men were enlisted solely for the defense and were former clefs or bandits and were likely led by hereditary capitanos. However, their importance as combat forces decreased eventually as the Ottomans established a military administrative system with its normal complement of provincial troops and large numbers of fortress guards. All, all, of the Christian, all of the Christian auxiliary groups peaked in importance about 70 years after the conquest of a particular region in which they were based, were the groups on frontier regions of Hungary and provinces of Bosnia and Semendira. In those locations, the government preferred to transform them into combat service support roles instead of abolishing them. In Syria, regiments were called Ashir and followed local religious leaders without pay. Derbentis or gate guards originating from the Persian word derbent, meaning gate, were mountain guards, probably originating from Ottoman times when they were employed to keep the roads banner free. Finally, Bedouin tribesmen were quite a large part of Ottoman armies in Arabia and North Africa.